What's going on guys? So a lot of people have been asking about how to wire up the battery and amplifier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all how to do that. This is gonna be a very simple tutorial. I'll be using the battery hookups batteries, which are no longer available, but the same principle will apply to any positive, negative 24 volt or 12 volt battery. So with that being said, let me grab where are my cutters at. Oh, they're right there. So let's get started. So if you do happen to have a battery hookups battery left, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut all the little wires off, cut these zip ties. I guess I need to go over what I'm using first. So this will work for a five wire switch. Colors are gonna determ be determined by the switch you buy. We'll talk about that when we get to it. DC plug for the amplifier. DC uh, input plug for your charging. And this will work with any of the standard amplifiers that we use in the group. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, and I have lever connectors here to show you all how to wire that up and make it much more simple. So on the battery hookups batteries, we're only gonna be using the two big wires. So all these little ones can be cut and removed. I'll remove those in a later video. So I'm gonna cut the negative and I'm gonna cut the positive off of the pigtail because we're not using this connector. So we're gonna strip back both of these and on the positive i'm going to use a single input to dual output if you need more connections for other items you can definitely do that as well but for the sake of this video i only need two so good connection there i always recommend lever connectors for when you start one of these and then once you finalize the build go ahead and solder and heat shrink everything to give it a lasting connection I will also do videos, so subscribe for power tool batteries and many other builds that we're gonna be talking about. <clears throat> this is a little reset module for the temperature switch on this battery. It's only on this battery because it's from a solar cell, or uh, solar system, battery bank from one of the solar fields. So now we have our positive and negatives. Cool thing about these little lever connectors right here is you can actually combine them. I'll have links to all this in the description. Now, on our switch, this is a five wire switch. If it has this color combo, you need to check the wires. So yellow is normally closed. We don't need the normally closed. We need the normally open wire. So I'm gonna yank out that yellow. <clears throat> Green is your common. Black is your negative. Red is the LED positive. These two are only used for the LED light. These two are for your input and output voltage. So we're gonna take the green wire and it's gonna go in the positive side. We're gonna take the negative and put it in the negative side. Now, while we're here, we have the positive for the DC input. This is for your charger. And this is the negative. Now you see why I used a three wire um, connector for the negative because we do have a negative for the amplifier and we want the best ground possible. Now we have the blue and red left since we want the LED to cut on when the switch is turned on. We are gonna combine these two right here as you can see, when I turn it on, it illuminates. When I turn it off, it goes off. Remember, if it doesn't work this way, check your wiring. You need to normally open because when you push this button in, you're closing the contact, completing the circuit. And put that into a single. Now we're gonna come over here to the DC plug. We have our ground. or negative, whichever you prefer. I come from a electrical background, but I also dabble in a lot of car audio and terminology from electricians and car audio people is different. You have ground and negative. When it comes to 24 volts, everyone refers to positive and negative. Uh, in field, a lot of people will just call it ground. Either way, it's whatever terminology terminology you want to use but our red is our positive 
and our black is our negative. Now, in industrial, like I work in, black is actually positive and red can be your uh, negative. So there you go. Now we're gonna put our positive into the red and blue side and we're gonna plug in our amplifier. Now, when we hit the switch, you're gonna see the light illuminate on the amplifier. Oops, if I have the amp on. Or did I grab a bad amplifier? Of course, when I'm making a video, I grab a bad amp. There we go, that one's on. And when we turn it off, it goes off. So that one can go in the trash. I always have a ton of amps laying around and I never label the bad ones when I find a bad one. So like this one right here, we'll cut it on, red light on, good to go. And that is all there is to it. Plug in your charger, charges the battery, make sure your switch is off. You don't want to charge while running the system because you can damage the cells in the battery. But that's all there is to it, guys. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Comment down below. Um, there's tons of wiring diagrams on the Built Knob Out Boombox's Facebook group, so make sure you head over there. And um, I'll be making more videos like this to try to explain the wiring a little bit better to people that are wondering. So again, let's just run down this system while we have it here. We have our red, positive, black, negative. Remember, not all color schemes are gonna be the same depending on the battery, depending on the switch, and depending on the components you use. So always refer to the manuals and the schematics of whatever you're working with. <clears throat> it just so happens that this battery doesn't tell you anything um, except for the polarity is red positive, black negative. So you have no idea what these little wires are, but you know what the big wires are, and that's all that matters in this situation. Now, on your switch, depending on what switch you buy will depend on what colors you get. Like I said, on this one, the common is the green. Black is negative, red is positive. I mean, uh, blue is positive and red is positive input for the LED. That's why we tie those together. If I was to remove the red wire, this switch is gonna function exactly the same way. So if I plug in this amplifier and I turn it on, it still works, but there's no LED because the LED is this red wire. Now, if I was to plug this red wire directly in to the battery, <clears throat> now we have the LED on all the time. If you had the yellow still hooked up, it would have constant power all the time. That's why we removed that whole wire. This is a normally closed, which means the circuit is complete, while the blue is a normally open. We wanna close the switch to turn on the power. So hopefully I can help some people out with this video. Again, not everybody's an electrician and you need to learn the basics before you do anything like this, or you could damage components or injure yourself. So thanks for watching guys, have a great day.